Okay. Hi, everyone. So, I know it's been a while since I vlogged and stuff, but, um, there's a craft fair coming up, and I thought I would tell you all about it here and stuff. Um, it is local. If you're in the central Florida area, it's in downtown Melbourne. Um, it's predicted that not a lot of people are going to be there because it's been raining and stuff. So I've been checking the weekly forecast to see if it's actually going to be raining that day or close to it. So I'm keeping an eye on the weather for that. Um, I've been reading the news about the protests just to make sure. I doubt it's going to be in downtown Melbourne because that's like party central here in Melbourne and everyone parties with everyone. So... That's probably not going to be an issue either. Um, the only thing that I'm really concerned about is that not many people are going to show up because I don't think many people are going to either remember or actually notice that something's going on with everything going on with COVID and the protests. Um, yeah. So. Uh, there's no... I think I'm going to stop with the intros as well, because, I don't know, the intro is kind of the thumbnail of the videos anyway, so I don't think there's a point in doing that. Um, also, I'm sitting on the dog's bed, because, you know, mirror, because he likes to stream with me and everything else. Aw, such a good boy sitting. Oh, you're so fun. So look at that bitch. There's nothing that on you. Okay. But yeah, so this is what I have so far for the craft fair. Um, I have that milk crate which holds all of my bags. I have plastic bags for the smaller stuff. Like these, if someone were to buy one of these. And, you know, my earrings up there and stuff. Mm, excuse me. I have those right there, which are a smaller type of bag in case people buy more stuff. They'll have more room to carry. And of course, the bigger ones are mainly for the floral canvases and the picture frames and stuff. I also have, you know, tape just in case. I have this necklace holder display thing. It's a smaller one. I have a couple of tissue papers just to be all fancy and cute. I might not do that. I might. I don't know. But I bring those just in case. These hold all of my bracelets. Except for those bags in there. I didn't know which one to get because I do have to file taxes. And this is my first craft fair. So I'm getting... So I got these and this. I think I'm going to mainly use this for online orders and commissions. And then I bought these for the floral canvases. That way I don't have to write on the um, actual canvas part. This has all of my business cards and organza bags for the loose leaf, for the loose stuff. Like up there with all of the keychains. Um, this holds goodie bags for little boys when they show up with their parents to buy something and this one holds goodie bags for little girls this one has all of the necklaces oh, it's supposed to pop out yeah this has all the pre-packaged pre-packaged necklaces that way it's easier to just grab and go um, I'm gonna need four more packs <laughs> That way, the stuff that's displayed as well, because I have these three here. And this giant one. So, I have four displays, so I'm going to need another few packs of these. These come in a pack of six at Walmart for like four bucks. And I, and I only need four of them, so that's, you know, pretty cool. These, you know, have those, but I think I'm going to use the these boxes for shipping, not for the craft fair 
because I kind of want to reuse up those bags and I think those would be better for the craft fair instead of shipping. That way with this, if I put it in an envelope and, you know, the package gets damaged, the box get da gets, dam gets most of the damage versus, you know, just putting it in an, you know, in an organza bag and wishing for the best. Um, this one will hold these two keychain display hold well drill they're jewelry display holders but I use them mainly for my keychains because it's so much easier and they spin and that way people can just be like oh you have two red I want one red and then someone will be like oh you have an orange or oh look that's pretty cool I like the orange and black together so I want that one you know and then these I've th this is my purse charm display. I'm not making any more until all of this is empty. <laughs> but yeah. And then this box, well, this basket has some of my uh, larger beaded making stuff in it. And then it has the box for picture frames, and then the box of phone cases. And then this one has. Like I said, the bracelets and, you know, more necklaces. So that's why I need those boxes to get those out. That way, this box can be used for something else. I don't know what, though. And then, yes, this is coming with me, of course. So that's going to sit there. Those two are my floral canvases, and that one's my earrings. Those are definitely coming. Um, I don't know if I will take that with me just to try to get rid of it, but that's a lot of bulk blue fabric that I don't use because I have a crap ton of it anyway, but that's, that might be later, I don't know, um, but yeah, and then I have this, this is... A box of empty boxes like these are gonna be for the keychains these are gonna be for the bracelets these are going to be used strictly for shipping online orders that way like I said everything is nice and protected and everything else if I can snap that and I'm getting more milk crates as well because a few of these drawers have a bunch of stuff thrown into them and I really like to reorganize those with the boxes. That way, you know, I just have leftover boxes in case, you know, anyone buys anything. It could just go in a box and then go in an envelope or in one of the heaping boxes that I have. And the only reason why I have that many Amazon boxes is because my roommate is an Amazon here. So, yes, he really likes Amazon. So all of those boxes are from him. Every time an Amazon pack package gets in, I rip it open, I throw him his stuff, and then I take the box. <laughs> like, I am a cat. I am a hoarder. But this also makes shipping cheaper, too, because that means I don't have to buy boxes. So it's a win-win for me. And, yeah, I also have a couple of cutesy um, tablecloths in there, just like the plasticky ones. That way, you know, just in case, no, I'm gonna be cute and, you know, standing out. I have those. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's not really much to really update. I mean, one of the reasons why I haven't been vlogging is school started back up. So I've been doing school like every day. Okay, no, that is a lie. I only do school on Tuesdays. Tuesdays are my homework days, which is today. Um, Nick normally comes home at around this time, but his schedule with him being flux hours, um, they won't want him... His bosses wanted him to come in during a night shift to see how he is during a night shift. So he's there until... 11, 11.30, depending on calls and whatever happens. Um, 
But, yeah, so, homework's on Tuesdays. I get the doggy, of course, because he's my go to a boy. And then, and then I stream the rest of the day if I have time. I normally stream when Nick is gone, because he's very distracting. So, like, tonight, with him being gone until 11, I'm just going to, like, completely stream all night. I don't know what I'm going to stream. I'm probably going to finish up the Pac-Man gifts that I've been doing because I want to make earrings and, of course, more keychains with them. But I don't think I'm going to try to sell all of them this craft fair. I might introduce a couple of pairs of earrings. That's if I get the one thing I need, which is the... I want to say it's the 10 millimeter. But I have to bring one of the keychains with me to the store. But I need a certain size of a jump ring. And Walmart doesn't carry them. And Joanne's barely has any. And I need to like completely stock up. Because I have about a hundred. <laughs> I mean that's probably lowballing. But I have roughly 50 to 75 ghosts that I have to complete as either an earring or a keychain and I can't do that without the large size jump rings that I need so I'm just making them just to get them out the way because they are taking up space and some containers and a friend of mine really wants those containers and she's like yo if you know if you're not gonna reuse them you know can I can I have them you know can you give them to me so I can save a few dollars like yeah I can like, I'm never going to use these again, because I'm converting all my stuff into those organizers up there. So I don't need those plastic containers anymore. I mean, they're great for some things, but as someone like me that does a lot of beaded stuff, that is more convenient, because I can literally just grab, like, three or four drawers instead of, like, three or four of those big plastic containers because my desk is small and it's just easier that way because you know like I have those those I gotta organize them into more of those once I get more of those but then those are gonna go to her except for that bottom one that bottom one is mine because a friend of mine gave it to me and I can use it for buttons in the future and I love it yeah, she's pretty much getting all of those, and there's one, four, we have six, seven, eight. She's getting nine of them. So, it might be a little too much, but with the stuff that she is doing, um, she could easily fill it up later if she wants to. Because she does art, she does different types of art, so those things bins will be perfect for the wood pieces that she uses and possibly other stuff as well but um yeah we are both super excited about the craft fair that's coming up um i'll leave a link and stuff down below my commissions are open um i'll leave my email down below as well that way y'all can email me and i can send you a form to fill out because I like to forget and I don't like messaging people at like 2 in the morning when I'm like, hey, let me work on this commission. And then I pull everything up and I'm like, hmm, I have questions and then I have to wait. <laughs> so this form will be just completely straightforward and easy and to the point. That way, if it is 2 in the morning and I have nothing better to do because my insomnia has been acting up this past week, so I can just work and I can just work on some of the stuff on stream as well. And that's another reason why I want those jump rings. Because I have a couple of commissions that need those before I can finish them anyway. So until I get those, those commissions are on hold. Because I told them, I was like, look, you live near me. You know, why don't you just show up at the craft fair and just pick it up at the craft fair and pay me then? And they're like, yeah, I can do that. Like, that's, that sounds reasonable. You know, that way they don't have to pay shipping, even though they live, like, literally across the town from me. <laughs> like, you can just pull up, 
be like, hey, let me get that. And I could be like, okay, here, give me mine. You leave. It's great. Or you could just walk around because there's supposed to be a lot of people there, like vendors. So I'm really excited. Um, I re- like that's like I'm done buying stuff for right now because I'm really tight on money right now because the school and bills like they're not real. The bills are getting they're mediocre like they have been. They've pretty much been consistent in the last four months. But, um, holy crap, no, five. Wow, yeah, in the last five months. But the school has been, like, behind on paying people because of the whole virus and stuff, which I knew that was going to happen. And, you know, I was like, I can wait another couple of days. And it was. It was an extra couple of days. So... It didn't really bug me that much, but now I'm just like, okay, this is the one thing that I need, and then I need to get cash for the craft fair, and I can't do that if I don't have the money in the bank. But I am being very frugal when it comes to that, because I'm doing cash, card, and PayPal. That way, you know, if people don't have cash, if they're like, look, you know, really, be like, oh yeah, I like this, da da da. You know how much? I was like, oh, it's... Like, like those. Oh, it's $20. Oh, I don't have that in cash. Read the sign. I have a sign. It says, I take card and PayPal. You're fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, taking a card is an upcharge. I have to tell them that. But other than that, like, I shouldn't be losing any sales. I probably, like, even if I don't sell anything, I'm not losing sales. It's just that I'm not gaining sales. That's pretty much it. It's just a neutral thing. And it's my first one, so I'm not expecting to make like a hundred dollars. I mean, if I sell all of those, I'm pretty much golden, but like, I'm not, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Um, yeah, like those two commissions that I'm doing, they're one of the cheaper commissions that I offer because, you know, they're the keychains. And like, <laughs> Just those two commissions alone is paying for the table that, well, my spot that I had to rent. So, like, it's not that big of a deal. But, yeah, you can tell it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> my arm started to hurt. But yeah, like, the, those things of candy up there. All of these. Those are for the, um, the treat bags that I have. But, yeah, I don't have a lot of the treat bags because, like I said, I'm not looking for, you know, making a lot of money. And those treat bags are if someone buys something and if they have their kids with them. That's just something extra for me to do. Like, I didn't have to do that. You know, I could have just saved, you know, roughly $100 on all that stuff. But, like, no. <laughs> Like, you're buying something for yourself, you're dragging your little kids along, you know, they're probably bored and tired and they don't want to be there. Here, have something extra. So it's just something fun for me to do. Like, if I don't really have anything to do, I just make up a goodie bag and that's it, pretty much. Um, one of the other things that I have to get is a thing of hand sanitizer, because... Of course, with COVID happening, the, um, people, I don't even know what to call them, but the individuals that are running the craft fair, they're like, hey, because of COVID, you have to provide hand sanitizer. Like, okay, you know, not a big deal. I can just go to the Dollar Tree and get one of those, like, school pumps for a dollar, um, I might have hand sanitizer laying around because Nick really likes cleaning his electronics with it. Um, mainly like the screens and stuff because it actually works. Of course it has to be on the unscented kind, kind, but like that regular basic gel Germex hand sanitizer works really well with cleaning electronics. Um, he also cleans the Xbox and the remote the Xbox controllers and the um, TV remotes with it every now and then, so that's great. 
of course my phone's going off because I have no life and instead of doing my homework I'm filming so but yeah I'm gonna do just a couple of assignments pretty much the assignments that are due tonight there's other assignments I have to get done but those aren't really due until like Sunday so they can wait a little bit but yeah I'm gonna do the assignments that are done tonight I'm going to try to figure out if I need anything else because I was going to buy a couple more of those um, swiveling keychain holders but at the time of me going to Joann's they didn't have them and I wasn't going to bother them because the store was like a ghost town and it's like no one was there working anyway. And so it's like you know what I'll just, I'll come back another time. I have a week and a half to get everything that I need. I'm not too worried about it. Um, like Nick is off tomorrow. He was off yesterday, so we went shopping, and then we went to Orlando to do more shopping, which was a waste of time, not going to lie. But, like yesterday I went to the Joann's here in town, trying to get some stuff, and that didn't work. But with him being off tomorrow, you know, I can try again tomorrow, because I do have Joann's coupons. Freaking love my coupons! So I can try to use one or two of those on the on the displays but I'm probably not probably gonna wait until probably the September craft fair that's in Riviera I think um if it's at the place where I think it is you know there's gonna be a lot of foot traffic but I'm probably not with it being September and I don't know what's going on over there but yeah I just want to be able to sell a few things just to be like, yo, you know, you really like my stuff. That's when I bring my business cards. That was like, hey, you know, just because you don't like this stuff, why don't you try, you know, commissioning me or whatever. And then, you know, all of that. Um, I did have a poll on Instagram last week asking people if I wanted to do, if I should do a product release before or after the craft fair and a lot of people said after and I'm like okay that does make sense okay good and because I was flip-flopping I was like oh I could do it before and then you know whatever doesn't sell you know I can sell at the craft fair but it's like crap what if I have the craft fair and I sell something and I don't update my website in time and then someone buys it there's some things that I can easily remake but some things I can't so Good boy. Hello, I love you. Grumpy pants. But, yeah, that's pretty much just a little crafting update. I will be vlogging the craft fair. Um, just like a setup and everything else. I probably won't really vlog anything other than probably ranting and raving. Or being like, hey, it's freaking hot out here. But, <laughs> other than that, like, I'm pretty set on everything. I just have to, yeah, I just had to get some jump rings and then we're completely on board and completely done with pretty much getting the craft fair up and running. Um, and I kind of had a feeling that I wasn't going to get anything done in time, but I've made like six chunky charms. I made roughly four-ish, more of those single purse charms. I made like 20 pairs of earrings and three new necklaces. You know, I'm making the Pac-Man ghosts just to have them available. Just to, you know, make more keychains if I have to or whatever. You know, just get ready for the September one. Like, I thought everything was, you know, not gonna be done until like the last minute. Like, I'm stressing. I'm not gonna get sleep. Da, 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 but literally the only thing I need is jump rings. I can get them tomorrow. So, I'm not too worried about that. And I'm also getting more of these milk crates. Like I said earlier about those. About, you know, cleaning those out with useless stuff that I just have jammed in there to get them off my floor. But, um, I also have some stuff in the closet that I want to put in here that way it's easier to move because we are planning on moving out because I have a year lease on this apartment so whatever money I make um, 
part of it is going to go to vacation, but the majority of it is going to be used for, like, actually getting a house next year, which would be awesome. So, yeah, we got to plan more on that, but it's easy. Um, whatever money I have left over with bills, like, I could throw in a couple bucks in my, uh, savings and every time Nick gets paid whatever if he doesn't have bills like of course after all of his bills are paid too like he's gonna throw a couple bucks in his savings and with our combined savings we should be able to at least provide the down payment for our house so I'm really looking forward to that um but yeah Blue what are you doing? Anyway, now yeah, I'm gonna do homework, and then possibly take a break to take him outside, and then be streaming the rest of the night. So, yeah. Thank you for tuning in, of course, and listening to me just ramble as usual. This is probably gonna be my usual filming setup, just because I have a gigantic mirror door thing on my closet which annoys me to death but hey <laughs> there's something for it um yeah I got this idea from Miss Fran she has a YouTube channel she's awesome she's her and her boyfriend are from Chile and they do art and stuff and they were able to move to New York so they're awesome to watch and just to relax too so but yeah, so yeah, I will see you all probably Thursday. Okay, bye!